Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsical and welcome to the first video in the police update. This police update arrived. This police update arrived on June the 14th, 2016. And oh my goodness, I watched the trailer yesterday. If you've seen my video on the trailer, I am so excited for this update. I think it's gonna be absolutely awesome. We'll just wait whilst my game Update, oh there we go, it is updated. Let's jump in and see what this update brings. So when you enter the game, you'll get this pop-up, new professions feature, police station. An all new feature has just been introduced. Go to work at the brand new police station with your Sims and help them rise up the ranks of the police force. Then specialize as either a Metro police officer or a special agent. Help Sims with requests and build a better police station as you go. So the requirements for this, I believe you've got to be level 11 to build the police station. If you come out onto your town map, go over by the community centre and Deer Spring Falls, you'll notice a new little area here. Go ahead and click and we've got the police station. It's going to take one day and 12 hours for me, 200,000 simoleons and I need 18 sims to build it. That will probably be different for everybody as it normally is when we build new places on our sim town map. So here's our police station. Once it is built, the icon around it will start flashing to show you it is finished. Go ahead and click on it. And here is our police... Oh, we've got the pop-up. As soon as you finish building your police station, you get the new quest available pop-up. So it's professions training quest. So complete the professions training to gain access to the all new professions and go to work with your sims. Ah! Oh! Okay, so here we go. Visit the police station. Profession workplaces are now available. These locations allow you to go to work with your sim and help them with their work day. Go visit the police station to get started. Let's go ahead and click on the police station. Oh my goodness. Task complete. Wow, look at this. It's so like The Sims 4. Get to work. It's amazing. Okay, now I need to send a sim to work at the police station. This is a profession workplace. Your sims can begin their work training here now. I can't speak, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, assign a sim to a job at the police station, then send them to work via the occupations tab. Okay, so this is going to be all kind of completely new. So it is guiding us through and flashing where we need to go to. So that's useful. So go into the occupations tab. And we need to find somebody who has no job. Okay, so Ken has no job. Let's go ahead and click. Oh, here we go. So choose an occupation. So we can now choose a police occupation. And obviously it's a bigger tab than all the other tabs. So let's go ahead and accept this job. Uh, do you want Ken to start their professions training at the police station? This will lock the professions training to the police station until the tutorial is complete. Yes, okay. So this is kind of just a little tutorial about how we're going to use this, just because obviously it's new to us all. Once we have given him the job, if you stay in the occupations tab and click on the suitcase. Oh, you're seeming to be in a better mood. Okay, let's go and cheer him up. Okay, I've cheered him up. Let's go and click on the suitcase now and... Oh, do you want Ken to start a work shift? You can accompany them now or send them alone and visit them later. This is so like Sims 4 Get to Work. Let's accompany Sim. There we go. Task complete. Send a Sim to work at the police station. Help a Sim at the police station. A Sim has appeared asking for help. At the police station, tap a bubble over the sim's head with a working sim selected and help them. When you're done, tap the bubble again to collect your reward. Okay, so they've got a little bubble above the head with kind of a walkie-talkie type thing. Go ahead and click. So we've got two options here. We can survey crime scene for five minutes or uh, file a rest report for one minute. So we get XP from this and also kind of like a little reward thing. I don't know. Let's go ahead and click. This looks like the burglar. It is the burglar. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. He's got like a little, I know, training outfit thing on. So here we are at the front desk with the burglar. So there are different areas to the police. Whilst he's doing, they're doing that, let's just take a quick look around the police station. So we've got like a gym over here. Look at that wall. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's this? Oh look, staff room. There's, there's donuts. And what else? Oh, we've got some areas that are 
locked at the moment. This, is, this must be the surveillance fan outside. Wow, how amazing is that? And then all of these areas are locked, obviously. We're going to have to con complete some tasks and things before we can unlock those. And then there's an upstairs again, locked up here. Okay, they've nearly finished. Oh, they've finished now. So once they've finished, a little bubble above the head. Let's go ahead and click on the bubble. Help a sim at the police station. Task completed. Help again at the police station. Fantastic. Notice how one section of the sim's bubble is green. With a working sim at the police station, help them again to fill the other side and collect a resource. Note, if your sims are no longer working at the police station, send them back by the occupations tab. Okay, my sim is still working. So, Oh yeah, as you can see here, I always think that they're going to go bigger when you zoom in, but they don't. The One of the grey little things on the circle has now turned green, so we're kind of, we're done one of the little tasks. So if we click on and we need to do the other one, we just survey crime scene for five minutes in the surveillance van. So we're going to go out to this van over here. Right, here comes our little policeman out of the surveillance van. Are they not going to go inside? This is awesome. Look at inside this van, it's just so amazing. Good job, Sims Freeplay. I've mentioned on a couple of social medias that I really needed a awesome update after the spa update because I just kind of wasn't feeling the spa update. Didn't love it, wasn't one of my favourites and it's kind of put me off the game. I haven't played a lot recently. Is he going in the van? He's going inside the van, okay. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Sorry if I keep just saying like, wow and everything, but I just love it. It's so awesome. Like, the um, the actions and that that they're doing, it's so amazing. Oh, look, he spilled his... Did he just spill his coffee? And then he wiped it up? Did he? I'm not sure. Okay, they've completed that little task. As you can see, the other side is now green. So let's go ahead and click on it. And task complete, help again at the police station. So we've got 60 XP for doing that. Now we need to check workplace overview. Progress in a profession by building and upgrading workstations. Check your progression to see the requirements. Go to the police station and tap on the profession menu to reach the workplace overview. It's in the top left corner of the screen. So as you can see, top left corner, they have a flashing little police badge here, workplace overview. Okay, this is a whole kind of new screen and things. Oh, I see. Look, we unlock these different areas. If we, there's two career paths to choose: Metro Police, Special Agent, and they will be the different things that we will unlock when we do the two different career paths. So we can have two Sims come to work at the police station at the same time. So we can do could both um, both paths simultaneously. Once you come out of that, that will be task complete. Check workplace overview. Obviously, there was quite a lot of information in that workplace overview. We'll kind of just get to grips with that as we go along, I think. Great. Whenever you help a sim with all their requests, you receive resources which are kept in your workplace. Storage. Check it out. Go to the police station and tap on the profession menu to reach the storage tab. So back into there. So we've got our workplace overview here. And then the next one along is the storage. Obviously, we've just done the walkie-talkie one. As you can see, we've got two little walkie-talkie resources there so we need to collect those resources in order to upgrade these things here as you can see like the requirements there we need eight walkie talkies and four flashlights to upgrade this training center so we come out of the storage and that will be task completed now we need to help a sim at the police station again so sims can have up to four requests which require different workstations and skill levels another sim is here with a request have your working sim help out note if your sims are no longer at work okay they are at work so that's okay so we've got someone else come and policeman here with a flashlight so he wants to receive motivation at the training center that's going to take two minutes where's the training center oh is it like the gym area that i said i think it is isn't it let's see what they're doing here i really want to see them like try and climb that wall Ah, oh, look at this. Marching. Who's receiving the motivation here? <laughs> oh, saw him. He's yelling at us through a thing. Oh, here we go, lifting up the weights. Oh, here we go, here's the wall. Ha! <laughs> he runs and jumps over it. Okay, there we go. That is completed. So he's got this 
flashlight icon above his head. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that is task complete to help a sim at the police station. We do need to help him again, I think. But let's continue this um, tutorial. Check the work shift quota. Help the maximum number of sims during a profession work shift to get rewards. With a sim working, with a working sim selected at the police station, check the work shift quota on the sims work bar. Okay, I have no idea what that meant. Luckily, it's got a little flashing thing to help us out down on the bottom left where that kind of person sign is, two out of 25. Is flashing so let's click on that and that is the work shift quota help sims in the workplace to add to the work shift quota reach the quota to end your sims shift early and gain rewards oh okay so we've got like 25 tasks within the work shift and if we do we receive 300 3000 of whatever they these things are and 41 walkie talkies okay that is task complete check the work shift quota now we need to fulfill special requests. A sim with special requests has appeared at the police station. You'll get more rewards for helping these sims, but you won't know what it is until you collect it. Fulfill the sim's special request. Ooh, okay, where are they? Oh, look, here they are. So they've got a question mark above their head. Let's go ahead and click on this. File sims report one minute at the front desk. Let's see what's going on with this dude. Okay, we have finished filing his report. Let's go ahead and click on the question mark above his head. And, oh, it just gives us a random item. That is task complete, fulfill special request. I'm not sure, I think we won um, walkie-talkies for that. Now, trade resources. You nearly have enough resources to upgrade the surveillance van. Use the resource exchange to trade police coins for the resource you need. Go to the police station, tap on the profession menu. It's kind of going to, we're going to get... It's going to take a little bit of time to get to grips with kind of profession menu and resource and all of these like different things that they're now throwing out there into the game. I tap on the profession menu in the top left of the screen to reach the resource exchange, okay? So, oh, so the resource exchange is the last tab. So our three tabs are workplace overview, storage, and resource exchange. So we've got a load of spinny things here, have we? Spinny things that we can... Uh, do let's trade it's telling us to do this so obviously for the tutorial we just need to do that presumably that is enough yeah trade resources task completed so now we need to upgrade a workstation well done you have enough resources to upgrade a workstation tap on a workstation to check your resources and then upgrade it so let's the workstation is the surveillance van that we're going to go out to so come out to the surveillance van click on the icon there and as you can see we've now got enough it takes eight flashlights for walkie talkies and we have got enough of those so let's go and upgrade and by upgrading it it's going to reduce action length by five percent there's different rewards i think that you get each time you upgrade it you get more xp or different types of things so let's go ahead and upgrade there that takes five seconds so these upgrades take a certain period of time Upgrade, upgrade in progress complete. There we go. So now we've got surveillance van level two. Task completed. Upgrade a workstation. Now the next thing we need to do is to complete the remaining workday. Fantastic. Complete a workday at the police station to pass the trainee level. Note you can bypass your Sims workday by tapping the briefcase icon on the Sims work bar and choosing complete shift. This time it's free. Ah, so look, we've got a load of people here now with different prizes and different tasks to complete. You can either do that to complete your workday or it said it was free today. Let me try and figure this out. So if you go into your occupations tab and click on the suitcase on your sim that's at the police station. Oh, there we go. End work shift. Are you sure you want to end your work shift? Complete shift. So this time it is um, zero LPs. Let's do that just so we can complete that task. That is task complete. Congratulations, you've completed your training for professions. Work with your sim and help them achieve greatness in their new vocation. Finished work. Ah, so we can do a double shift. Ken Larson Carson has finished work and been paid 1747 
uh, simoleons and 450 XP. Do you want to spend LP to have Ken work another shift? So we can do a double shift, 20 LP. Wow, that's expensive. No chance. Let's go home. So Ken has been promoted to cadet, level 1 out of 10, and he's got a new salary. Wow. So that is the tutorial for the police station. I'm assuming now we just have to continue sending our sims to work and kind of, you know, just collect the rewards and things and we'll see what comes up next. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are super excited for this update as I am. I'm going to go ahead and check if the glitches work now with this update and I will post either video or on my social media whether they work or not just in case you are hesitant to update in case some of the like the patio glitch and things don't work. Well, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.